I can't believe uh-huh. the amount of damage in here. Oh god, look at the ceiling. I just don't understand how an explosion could be that big to literally take the entire roof off this place. What kind of an explosion could have happened here? That does not look good. Like genuinely that looks like a, like a well, a death waiting to happen. There are a lot of explorers who have died falling through floors. Yeah. It's it's quite common actually. Look at the fire how badly it tore through that floor. You can literally see the layers. Should I pull the fire up? Probably a bit late for that. Now be very careful where you walk because this is actual. Shit. No, no, no. This is actual danger. If we fall in there, we're not getting out. I really don't think this was a good idea. I just don't want to die. You, you got to know your limits. You got to know what's okay and what's not. Yeah. And um, this place is not okay. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Katie Colson Explores and today we're exploring the Windmill Inn pub. Alrighty, so typical start, I am not alone because exploring alone is dangerous. So today I'm here with my gorgeous Proving Demons, aka Muffin, Squishy, Munchkin, whatever I feel like calling them on the day. <laughs> okay, so a very long story short, I got given this pin about two weeks ago, I think. And I was basically told it's a pub, it's got a little bit of character, you know, it's got all the stuff left behind and stuff, but there was a massive fire at this establishment. So the reason this place went abandoned purely was because of the fire. Up until that, it was a really successful family business. They were doing absolutely amazingly well. And unfortunately, due to the fire, they lost all money and literally had to abandon it overnight. So unfortunately, the accident happened on the 20th of July, 2021, which actually wasn't that long ago. Um, so that means it's been abandoned, what, three years? Mm -hmm. Three years. Um, and basically, firefighters got called at 8 p.m. at night out to obviously this massive, well, they suspected it was an arson attack at the time, but more investigation, they really it wasn't actually an arson it was an explosion so as you guys know before i go to locations i really like to obviously investigate and find out as much information as i can this property has been a little bit of a nightmare so i can't find out when it was actually established i can't find out really actually much of its history i just know it's current obviously since the arson fire explosion, explosion. i don't really know what to call it because obviously it's still under all speculation but the only thing i did find is its valuation so on the 5th of november 2003 it sold for 473,000 pounds and then over time obviously valuation builds and stuff and it is now worth 1.1 million pound in its current condition so what's really interesting about this property is it's increased its price by 113% since its last sale. Alrighty guys, with that being said, that is basically all I have. We have the valuation, we know there's some stuff left behind and it's also in the countryside, my favorite place in the world. So with that being said, we have a blind explore, but I'm very excited. It's a pub in the country. We love the pub. I love the We pub. love drinking. <laughs> Not drinking those drinks there though, because mm. I might be a little bit rough. But anyway, on that note guys, I will see you at the location. Let's roll. Alrighty guys, we just got to this pub and it has definitely seen better days. My God, um, but I have seen one thing. Have you spotted the one thing? I've seen lots of things. Seen... Well, there's one thing that's gonna give me a clear indicator is when it was abandoned. There's a Christmas tree on the reef. Christmas so time. I'm thinking this was abandoned around Christmas because obviously we don't actually know when it all, all kicked off and stuff. Um, but right, should we find an entry? Rule number one, always check the front door. There's also a car coming, so... It probably won't open. Okay. Nope, okay, Let, go wait, around the wait, back. Wait, wait, let's wait till this car passes. Don't wanna make it too obvious what we're doing. Too obvious? She I'm says, just, stood here with a camera in your face. I'm just staring at this blown up house is all. <laughs> Don't mind us. We have a couple options. Oh, okay, yeah, we we can either go through the window or we can go through the door. If it's obviously if it's open. It is open, oh, yeah. oh yay, okay. Right, so we've obviously just got into the place and it is trashed. I can't believe uh -huh. the amount of damage in here. It definitely blew up. You can tell it was really nice at one point, but yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, and no, I bet it was classy. Like I said, like looking at all like the wall paint and stuff. It's got a beautiful little oh, sign. It's kind you of know, a nice little chandelier vibe up there. It's kind of a shame what happened. So, eat, drink, enjoy, natter. There are no strangers at the windmill, only friends who haven't met. Oh, that's sweet. Well, God, it makes you actually wonder how it got so bad. Like, obviously, we know that obviously the roof um, blew off and stuff, and there was a big fire, but all the years of natural decay has just completely and utterly taken over this place. Right, so first thoughts on walking in here, absolutely stinks to the high heavens. A lot of mold, damp, um, even slightly a bit of a hint of fire. I know it's so stupid, like you still kind of like smell like the, the, the smoky smell. Um, and it's a bit of an Aladdin's cave, so we're gonna have to do some digging to actually find some really cool bits because probably half of it is under all of this stuff. Now be very careful where you walk because this is actual, Shit. no, 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 this is actual danger. Oh no, that's if, down to the basement. If we fall in there, we're not getting out. No. 
Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god, the kitchen's down there. Fuck, look at all that. Yeah, I know. And also, can I add, what? that's not floor. That's a plywood. That's a piece of board. That's a piece of board. Okay, so I think we should walk on the left. Andrew, no, no, don't walk that on that is, bit. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to walk right over here. I'm actually quite nervous. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, be very careful because if you fall through that, your, your leg's broken. Should we find another way? I don't think there is another way. Because that is sodden. That is absolutely so at three. I know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, and the floors are not okay. Yeah, I don't know if I trust this. Okay. Yeah, looking at the floor, guys, so that's obviously just a thin piece of board that's covering literally about eight or nine foot drop, um, and it's piss wet through, and I think it's going to be real vulnerable. Let me try something. Yeah, please be careful, Andrew. What, go right over the left side? Yeah, I'm sticking to this side. Okay. Let me, hold on. Just be so careful. Okay. I don't trust any of this. Well, you made it across alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stick to the right. Okay. The left, okay. Right. This is quite intense, actually, all of a sudden. Oh, shit. The floors don't feel safe in the slightest. No. Um, I'm like, also concerned if there's something underneath here as well. Like There probably is, so I'm saying, like, just come over. It's fine. I'm stood here. It's not okay. Through, okay. But... Look at the massive deck and all that. Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll have to go check that out in a minute. Oh, that's a really nice view. And look, it's got a patio down there where like all the bar chairs are, sorry, uh, bar benches even. And we're in some sort of pretty conservatory. Nice little vibe. I like the awnings on the ceiling. Yeah. So I'm loving the aesthetic. And I think actually at one point that could have potentially been an outside and maybe this conservatory was built around that. I don't know. I'm going to have to obviously go and investigate, but look at the TV up there, babe. Oh wow, the TV stood. I know, right. Everything else is it's in up. perfect condition. Like, obviously looking at all the rest of this and I'm still banking that this was abandoned around Christmas because look, there's Christmas trees again, Christmas decor. So I think it must've been around that time period. Look at all the paintings on the wall. Oh, that's so sweet. And we've got a menu, babe, look. They specialize clearly in Sunday roasts. Uh, mm -hmm. Garlic infused Scottish roast beef, goose fat potatoes, seasoned vegetables, you're reporting 1550. That sounds really yummy actually. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sides, bowl of chips, onion rings, Desserts. burger, the classic New York stack. So it's your basic, your basic pub grub. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. looks nice though. Yeah, it does. Very. I don't like the. Yeah, the bind is a bit weird. Yeah, the the, <laughs> the, the, the menus. This is they're intact. It's just. Ugh. Right. So just noticing the window sill. Look at this bottle, babe. I know. I noticed that. Menu, oh my yeah. god! It's got a tiny little like queen crown on it. Well, look, it's meant to look like the crown what? jewels. What? That's amazing. I don't even know what it is. I know it's obviously some sort of liqueur, but I'm not actually sure what. Is that a whiskey, a rum? It's a Chambord liqueur. Yeah, but what, what is what is that? Chambord liqueur. Yeah, but what is it? Like whiskey, rum? No, it's Chambord liqueur. Well, I don't know what that is. It's, <laughs> that's what it is. Sorry. Well, no, but Sorry, what, what group does it belong to? What, what like spirit it's a, group? It's a type of liqueur. Oh, okay. Right, well, that's that then. Um, Very cute. Loving that. It's so amazing how they've actually painted over the radiator as well. Like they've actually chased the design it, the whole way around the pub and all the ivy. Look, babe. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I've never seen a mannequin design like that. Why? Bent over the chair. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's meant to be sat down. Are you actually. okay, Queen? Oh, it's a sitting down one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That is actually really cool. It's a bit weird. Why would you need that in a pub, though? That's my that's my question. I don't know. What, you modeling like chef clothes? <laughs> Waitressing clothes? I don't know. Well, judging by the arm, it's got a golf glove on, so maybe it was like a... Uh, yeah, made spot. it to look like a golfer at one point yeah maybe so in the conservatory room obviously we've got the main door to what says bar uh i don't think we should go down there like genuinely that looks like a like a well a death waiting to happen uh as you can see all the planks have given way all the floors just everything so yeah i'm gonna call that a no-go zone um even looking at oh god see that's the thing babe i don't even think we can get around here no. it's completely caved in i was gonna say though this clearly was the nice function room. I mean, have you noted the hand painted walls? I did, yeah. It's it, like all the detail. They've definitely paid someone to come actually, like, obviously paint it. It's not wallpaper. It's really nice, but um, just a shame, really. It's all been left to rot. Oh, cool. So beside the pub, there's another massive extension, which potentially could have been an inn. You know, like, obviously, when you have your guests stay and like pubs rent out rooms. Uh, Do you think maybe? It looks more like a shed of some kind. Um, I, I don't know, because it. It's done very well. You wouldn't be putting animals in that and storage, so I'm not really too sure. Um, but that's it. I'm just, I'm just loving the vibe of it. It's a shame that we can't obviously get all behind us and stuff because it's caved in on itself. But 
the main bit so far I'm, I am enjoying. I'll tell you what, I'd rather be out there than in here. This is horrible. <laughs> this is absolutely trash. It stinks, doesn't it? And it's dangerous. It blew up. Yeah. Hey guys. And I don't know why. So this is what happens when you have a meth lab in your house and it blows <laughs> yeah. up. I, I don't know, I'm not saying that's what happened here, but this, essentially that's what this place is known for. It, it just went pow! Yeah, yeah. We don't um, know if it was electrical fire or arson. No idea. No just idea. Know that this is the only bit that survived, which I find shocking because it's all glass. Surely that would have smashed on impact. Um, if it took all the roof off, but not the glass, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Obviously, it must have been that way it happened, but I don't know what, what did actually occur. Oh, I found a big binder menu. This is nice. Oh, it's all been taken out, obviously, but... Oh, no, 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 no here we are. Oh, okay. 2016. Bloody hell. The prices were actually quite high for, for a pub grub. Yeah, but look, like, at, look at Not this. 11 pound for some ciabatta and... Well, Pitta. But look at the state of the place and the area we're in. It's it's a very wealthy location. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. But it does look really nice. Like I said, they've, they've done a really good job with all of this. Um, this one's much nicer than the other menu. It's actually, yeah. So it's a lot more sturdy, shall I say. Right, so we're going to call all of this done. We're not going to access any of that. Sometimes, if in doubt, get the fuck out. So we're not doing this. Um, we've got the main function room, um, but we need to go left, I think, at the bar. Yeah, let's go check out the bar and try not to fall through the floor. Fall yeah. <laughs> Take it very, very carefully. I will say, though, that is a very interesting um, entrance to the bar. Yeah. The old bar. It's got glass. They made it look like it's a hut that you had to walk through. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's a shame we can't go. See, part of me saying, do I just go down there and have a look? But then I'm also really concerned for my no, health no. and safety. You, you, know? don't, you don't need to because there's a hole in the floor over there that you can see directly down. Yeah, but I think there's a kitchen below us. Like I there's saw a, from over it, there, I looked there's through. There's a kitchen, there's not much left of one. I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you. Yeah, true Have that. You seen this? Yeah, true. Let's go check out the pub and not die. How babe, just before we leave this room, look at those leather covers. What? Yeah, they're well fancy. Really, really classy. Really. Oh, it's a shame that they've all cracked and obviously broken. You can't really do much with any of that now. But still, nice little addition. So back in the bar room and I'm not gonna lie, she's a vibe. I love that. Very, very country core. Um, granted, it's still very dangerous, so let's be careful. I would recommend walking around this way to get there. Oh, shit, look, look, it's all rippled on the floor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just, like, behind the camera trying not to, like, have, like, an anxiety attack. I'm not worried about me, I'm more worried about you. I just don't want you to fall. I don't care if I do, like... Oh, you know, <gasps> I, I, I've had a good run. Yeah, oh, this is this is dodgy. Do you want to watch? Do you want to watch the Omen? Oh, cool! They got DVDs. Oh, look at that! Hey, there's more here. Well, we got father and son. Okay, sounds like something naughty on the internet. Brilliant. Um, oh no! Classic. What? That's a horrible joke. Well, father and son. That sounds like an. Well, it does. It sounds just like a fucking porno. Like a porn hub. Well, it does. Title. It does. Though. I don't know what right. kind of porn you're watching. I don't watch it. We got classic Sinatra. Uh, oh, I like, they're getting really dirty and dusty. Basic Instinct. Oh, apparently uh, that's a really good film. I've never watched it. Where, isn't that the one where she gets her vagina out? So I've heard. Yeah, that's what I fucking yeah. thought. <laughs> uh, Faulty Towers. I've heard the name, haven't actually watched it. Um, without dying, hang on, I'm just gonna, oh shit, nope. I said that. No, I don't like the feel of that. No, I'm gonna stand here. Um, the Omen, and there's some other shit obviously up there, but okay, that's kind of cool. I kind of dig how they, <laughs> they made the seats like race car seats. Oh, yeah, like a bucket seat. It's leather and all of that. Yeah, that oh, that's cool. It looks like a race car. Oh, nice. And I've just noticed up there's a mask. COVID yeah. mask, so... Okay. That's, that's got to be from someone else. Yeah. Not, not from the time period. Oh, uh, look at that. What is it? Like oil and water mix. Looks oh. proper grotty. You couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't pay me enough to take a sip, that's for sure. Even, no, even no, if no I was, money in the world. Even if I was in the desert, I wouldn't drink that. Yeah, I'd definitely go without. Um, but speaking of drinks, look in there. Look, oh, it's God. fully stocked. Look in what? there. There's a layer of mold on top of this wine. Ew. I guess wine does go bad after a while. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. I, I think, like, with Rose, I keep telling you, I think Rose is, like, three days or something. Right, just to recap, that was our front door there. Obviously, we've done down there, dead end because it's danger zone. Got the bar over here cute little fireplace and I've just spotted another TV. Why are all the TVs in really good condition? Like everything in this building is fucked from the walls to the chairs but the TVs seem brand new. Because I'm going to be That's honest. That's so weird. I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody would want to come in here and vandalize this place let alone step foot in this place. Yeah because it's too dangerous. I don't think anyone it's, actually wants to come in here. This is an actual death trap. Yeah yeah it is. This is pretty cool. What have you found? Well a nice oh, little, it's a little, den. little private hangout section Aww. with some selfies. Oh, that's kind of cute. Got, uh, and some very expensive equipment. Amplifier for live bands. Which also looks 
basically pristine, except from a bit of dust. Wow. No, real talk, that, that really doesn't look bad at all. No, it doesn't look bad, but it probably doesn't work anymore. I've just noticed beside us, there's a Moretti, like, kind of pulling pint thing here. So I don't know why that's not behind the bar. Oh, cinnamon balls. Definitely not cinnamon balls in there. What the fuck? Hang on. Those are, which is old. Oh, they're that decayed. They've gone black. Yeah. Ew, that sucks. Um, yeah, that should be behind the bar. So I don't know why it's chilling there. I think it was behind the bar at one point. Might have been dragged out. Okay, fair enough. So moving into the den, um, curtains are looking adorable. Lights are not in bad condition. But I'm getting progressively more concerned because it's now starting to flood in here. Um, and as I say, we do have a kitchen and a basement below us. Yeah. With a very big drop. Yeah. Babe, that does, that, that does not look good. When you just push your foot on that, it, the whole thing just bowed. I know, it doesn't feel safe at all. Oh, fuck. Is there any way I can get to that room? I just don't want to die. <laughs> you, unfortunately, you'd have to just take the risk, but... Oh, fuck. Oh, God, babe. I'd rather I do it than you do it. Right, try and not capture my death on camera. Oh, don't say that. Oh. It's times like this I really wish I went to the gym and I was skinnier, so I didn't feel so scared putting too much weight on this floor. Um, oh, try not to be dramatic, but I really don't think this was a good idea. Well, you're already there, so you've done it. I am here, but I'm walking at like snail speed because it's actually getting really quite bad. Oh, it's spongy. Oh no. Oh my God. Fucking hell. Whoa. Oh my God. So it's literally completely and utterly caved in at every, every corner. Holy shit. So this was the men's bathrooms. And I think that's where I obviously from earlier I cut in and I was like putting the camera. Jesus Christ. I don't even understand what kind of an explosion could have happened here. That is it, absolute insanity. I've never seen this much damage from, from one singular, you know, thing. Normally it's an arson. You'd expect this from an arson because they do the whole building with fuel. Um, but this place is a complete bloody mystery. Oh, and just behind we've got loads of newspapers, which I sadly will not be able to pull out because obviously we've got all of the wall and stuff. Look, it's just completely, completely tearing away. Um, but I just wanted to see if there was a date that I can see. Um, no, probably not. I think sadly it's just, it's all buried in. Oh, there we are. That's a dead giveaway for the men's bathrooms. They're fucked. Could you imagine if it was a meth lab or something that was here? A meth lab. Yeah. Luckily, I don't think it was. Imagine Walter White in here. Jesse, <laughs> we need to cook. <laughs> Boom. Uh, like you'd be Fucking like more hell. of a British Walter White. How, how, how would a British Walter White say that? Um, oh, I don't know. Uh... Mm, Jesse. <laughs> yes. yes. We need to cook. Get the cup of tea and let's cook. <laughs> right. So I've just noticed the bar door. The, the previous entrance obviously been like you know barricaded up with glasses and it's now over there but that floor was worse i think than the one that i'm actually on so i don't know if i should risk it um I, i'm genuinely shitting myself on this floor not gonna lie but i want to get in there like look at all the little like bits and bobs there's drinks down there candles bottles of beer the coffee makers it just looks so cool, but yet I don't know if it's worth the risk. See, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of the horrible part about exploring sometimes, is that the inner kind of explorer of, you know, who I am, wants to go and do that, and I want to go down to the basement, I want to go behind the bar, but then the, obviously the safety aspect kicks in, it goes, is it really worth it? Is my life worth a YouTube video? Probably not. <laughs> As much as I want to, I probably shouldn't risk it. I mean, you gotta actually think about it. There are a lot of explorers who have died falling through floors. Yeah. It's, it's quite common, actually. Um, so, yeah, you you gotta know your limits. You gotta know what's okay and what's not. Yeah. And um, this place is not okay. <laughs> no, like, sadly, we can't get upstairs. I, I didn't realize it was this bad. I don't think there is an upstairs at this rate. Well, there is, but not really much left of it right guys so basically i think that's all i can do so we've still got obviously a tv up there we did the boys bathrooms there bar on the left um kind of like a snug area which is cute it's obviously this side's a little bit better than the rest of the property so the main kind of blow i'm kind of assuming must have been where we started just around that corner um but other than that boo i don't know if we really can get around anything else well, it's, then, it's just too far gone, you know? In that case, let's go and check out the outside stuff because they have a huge decking with all the stuff still up behind. Well, the only last thing I could do, I could go to that end bit there and try and walk through the bar, well, but literally, it's just so swollen. Literally two feet from there is where the 
floors. The, the dippers, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 like I say, on this bit, I'm currently stood on. It's not as bad, but it's just down there. It's it's completely sodden. It's a, too risky to be honest with and you. Even I mean, the, oh god, look at the ceiling. Oh god, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I can admire mental. it for what it is, but think about this, right? Logically, you see all of those drinks that are not smashed or open or stolen that are still in pristine. Yeah. I think nobody has actually taken the time to walk over there. I think everyone's um, done the same as they, us. They probably all, realize it's not a wise all move. Went, yeah, not worth it. I mean, yeah. no glasses are smashed up, nothing. It's no, it's pristine. pristine. Yeah, you can see there's been no, like, you know, kids in here or anything like that. This is all just natural decay. Like, that shelf that's fallen down and stuff. Like I say, it's not it's not the end of the world. Um, but even looking at the rust, do you know what I mean? If we scratch ourselves, we're going to need, like, tetanus shots. And I... Oh, look at the size of that knife. Um, but yeah, I don't have my tetanus shots, so... Yeah. Probably should skip it. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't have my falling ten foot to my death shot either. So. Oh, do you know what? I have that, so I'm safe with that one. My my, <laughs> my invincibility. <laughs> I need to get my vaccine for collapsing buildings. <laughs> right. So with that being said, then let's go outside. Let's walk on this floor very carefully, obviously, um, and see what that was all about. Because I think they might be lodgers. I've got a feeling. I don't know. Right. So clearly, guys, I figured out what happened. The Weatherspoons Mafia got well pissed off. <laughs> and they came in and they smashed this place up. Don't piss off Weatherspoons and don't be competition. <laughs> Spoons will get you. you know? This is what they'll do. <laughs> Fucking hell. I can't do an S with just one hand. What are you trying to do? I can do that. That's an S in cursive. What, rather, Weatherspoons representing? Weatherspoons. 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 <laughs> right, into the unknown. It's about to bust out and sing a song on there like Elsa. Oh, there's a little pizza oven out here. Have you seen this? Do you think I should pull the fire alarm? What? Should I pull the fire alarm? Probably a bit late for that. You think it would work? <laughs> no, don't. Does, does a fire alarm work in a place like this? After I started? don't know. Don't risk it. Ooh, pizza thing. That's what I just said. Pizza oven. Pizza. <laughs> oh, that's quite fun, actually. I like that. I can't actually get close to it because I'm literally surrounded by water bottles. What? Hang on. Who needs that much water? Have they ever heard of a tap? In the UK, we have a tap. You don't need to waste money on all this. Maybe they were... Pound a bottle. We've got, like, what? 40 quid's worth of water just sat here. Bit, bit pointless, really, isn't it? They're obviously trying to put the fire out with it. Oh, it's just too late now. <laughs> yeah, you can actually see, guys, how bad the fire was. It blew the, the window, the whole window frame completely out, all the glass, took the roof off, and I'm going to go around that bit to show you actually how bad the damage was. Before I move, though, can I just say, this is adorable. It's like a little smoking area, I think. Yeah. Could be wrong. Oh, there we are. There's a smoking tray. There we are. Fair enough. Um, but kind of like if you, like, at night time, have all the bar stalls around and stuff, maybe some fairy lights, chilling on the deck. That is so cute. Time to battle the bushes. Uh, is it really bad? Oh, well, maybe not. You hold that for a it's, second. It's wet, so obviously be careful. Thank fuck it stopped raining, though. I'm happy about that. Um, it's missing a few steps. Oh, shit. Is it, is it worth it? That's the question. Um, no. Hold on, hold on. Oh, fuck. If you distribute your weight... Brilliant, okay. You can be all right. <laughs> okay. Oh, for fucks. Ow! Straight in the fucking hip. Ah, oh, Andrew, this is not safe. It'll be fine. It'll be oh! fine. Okay, wait. <laughs> here, here, hand me your, ah! hand me your I'm camera. slipping. Hand me your it's fine. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Fuck this. There's access to the ground or bottom floor down there. No freaking way. Yeah, the, to the bar. So there is more to this building. So we can go through that. Yeah, we can. I think. But let's hang on. Look. So we were in that room, not we were, that one. We were just up there. So there's. Oh, that. I'm definitely going in there then. Yeah. Well, let's check out this. But this is cute. Look at that bench. It's all, it's all driftwood. All handmade. It's all driftwood. Yeah. Oh wow. That must have taken quite a while to be fair to make something like that. These are really nice. Do you want to have a little sit? A little seat? No. <laughs> not really. But... Nah, you're right. <laughs> but look, even the even the walls have got all cracks in it and stuff. Like that's how long it's been abandoned. It's just such a shame that she's once upon a time be like, you know, the life of the village. All these chairs were filled with people drinking, having an amazing time, and now it's just been left to rot. It's just so crazy. Well, listen, we could still come here and drink here and have an amazing time. What, you want to come here and drink? If we get our mates and just all drink here, it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so outside doesn't really have a great deal, just a lot of chairs, you know, typical sort of pub stuff. Um, I do really like the kind of, you know, aesthetic, shall I say. Got lots of privacy, hidden by all the bushes, and it is pretty. Like, genuinely, from this angle, I'm really appreciating the building. It's just a shame that, well, it's going to just be sat forever now, isn't it? No one's, no one can come along and actually fix it. It's just going to be a demolishment job. Another wet deck. Here's another great driftwood piece right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's true. That is so cool. Should we try in here, then? Yeah, let's, let's take it very carefully. Let's, let's go into the bar. 
Everyone, oh, <laughs> everyone, welcome to my five star pub. I'm super excited. What are you serving? Actually, oh, it's, wow, it's not bad. No, that looks cool. Oh, shit. be careful. It's like, like a venue or something. Oh, uh, wow, okay. It's more sturdy in here. We're on the ground level now, so we don't have to worry. TV yeah. is still mint condition, just like all the others. Oh, my god, that is so cool. What? Is this another bar? This is more of like a fancy private bar, isn't it? Well, no, I think the staircase that's upstairs is right here. You can see the awning. Yeah, yeah, so I remember that one, yeah. on into that hallway. So we are on okay. the ground level now. We found yeah. a silver room. Yeah, it's not bad in here, actually. Like, I think this has been used for like weddings or something, or I don't know, some sort of function room. Yeah, to be honest, if we had come down the stairs, there's no way in here. Wait, is that the staircase that I was looking at? That's the hallway to the staircase. Oh shit, yeah. No, yeah, good job we did come this way. The kitchen's on the left, that's so annoying. Because we can't get through that. There's no way in God's name I'm climbing over all of that. That's just not going to happen. No. Um, maybe there'll be another door on the left that I can cut in from. Don't know, we'll soon find out. So looking at the bar, she's actually pretty well stocked. Got all your drinks up there, little ornament. Mirrored. Oh, it's so pretty. All the light can just like bounce back on itself. Um, and that doorway looks accessible. Oh shit, that floor is, oh God, this is just sketch, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have a peek through this door, but I can't guarantee I can actually go, oh, fucking hell, all the way through it. What was that? Oh, that was just the corridor. Okay, that's all right then. Babe, have you seen in here? Uh, it looks like a little office or a security booth. It's got computers and stuff. Uh, yeah, it could, it could be. It's really, it's like, it's a little hatch. So maybe it links, no, there's no doorway there. I don't know. I don't know how you'd actually get into that. Look, more Christmas decorations. I told you it was a banner around Christmas. Well, no, it wasn't a banner around Christmas, sorry, but they were definitely setting up for Christmas before it all went tits up. What have you found? Uh, oh, a balloon holder. A balloon weight, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Have you seen the bar? Look, it's all glass and kind of like wacky. Uh, it's yeah. got little bubble designs in it and stuff. Yeah, like I said, I do actually really like this place. It's got good character. Just such a shame that look at the fire, how badly it tore through that floor. You can literally see the layers. Of, of how bad that, you know, this place is fucked. Oh my God, Andrew. What? No fucking way. What? That's what we walked over. Yes. We're idiots. So we would have, we would have been in line with about that. Yeah, we did walk over that. For fuck's so sake, that's lucky, so dangerous. Didn't cave in. Yeah, if it had caved in, we'd have fallen, yeah, as I say, like a good eight, eight, nine foot. See, what's a bit of a shame is all of these shoes are actually the owners, because um, they used to live on site, like I said in the intro. So knowing that all of their belongings are just still left here, just rotting away. But things, oh, see, things like that could have been saved. That's the only thing that confuses me is that, for example, that little, it's not a Chesterton as such, is it? It's not a proper Chesterton. No, no, no. no but, you're, um, you're thinking of a Chesterfield. Chesterfield, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, but that little sofa could have been saved. Those bar stools could have been saved. To be honest. You know, the TV could have. But you got, you got to think it. about it. Imagine if you were the owner of this bar and, and this happened to it, you would just be distraught. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever come back, actually, to be fair. I'd be too devastated to come and see what used to be my business. Yeah, and their home. Because this, this is a family home and yeah. business, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's a shame. Right, with that being said, guys, I think that's basically the entire place. I'm not going to try and access anything else because it's just too dangerous. Little wood burner in the corner. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's got good little features. You've still got all the books left behind and stuff, the furniture, bar in the corner. Got great views, but it's just not really, in a weird way, it's not really explorable, is it? I mean, it is, it is, but it's also... I mean, come on. You, you can tell the majority of where all the explosion happened and all that was over there. Yeah, so, yeah I thought that, yeah. In the kitchen area. I, I'm, it's leading me to believe it was more of a gas explosion if it's the kitchen that seems to be the ground zero of the building. Yeah, but then again, it still doesn't explain the roof and the very, very Oh, yeah, because fire rises. Heat rises. No but, no, but they said that the blue, that, sorry, the roof literally blew off. I don't. Yeah, so, if it, but the kitchen's down here yeah. on ground level. Then you've got another floor above us, then another no, floor, no, no, and then the roof. No, no, no. Because, it's three layers, right? Yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if it exploded down there, there's no floor over there anymore, so that yeah. blew. No floor above it, that blew, and then the roof blew. So it was a really big explosion. Yeah, I just tell. don't know what it would have been from. Like, like I say, maybe gas. I don't know, electric. I don't know. Fucking maybe nuclear bomb. A nuclear know. bomb in a pub. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, right, time to shut up shop. Just clip it in very gently. There we are. I like these though. Have you seen the little signs on it or the stickers? Yeah, I know. Oh. It, it, oh, kind of it's, cool. it's kind of weird how they're reversed though. You'd think that on well, the outside it would say bar. Oh yeah, to entice people in. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit strange actually. Do you think we should tell the owner that the pub's unlocked? <laughs> just let them know so they can get some... Just let them know there's a little bit of damage. Let them just know a tiny that, bit. Yeah, this is something they should probably sort Nothing out. Nothing a little bit of like, you know, go down B&Q and you can't fix it, you know. 
Yeah, well, no, I'm just, weird. I just wouldn't want anyone to get access in here, you know, so, I mean, does this door lock? No. No, yeah, we should probably call the owner and let him know. I think they might be aware. <laughs> Yeah, see, babe, what I was saying, look, look, this is all of the roof, okay? Like, all of this is from the rooftop. I don't get... So we've got the one story, two story, third story. That's the roof that Kate, that blew off. I don't understand how the kitchen in that, you know, that range could have blown like that. If it was a gas explosion. On impact. If it was a gas explosion, it's very possible. Really? That yeah. amount? Yeah. A big explosion, like a gas tank, yeah. Well, it depends on how big the gas tank is. It's only a kitchen. It's it's a pub kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to have like. It's going to be quite big. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Still. I don't know. How it's a about. It's a shame though, isn't it? How about everyone watching? You guys leave your theories. Why did the pub explode? Right, and before we actually head out, I just want to show you the front properly, right? Because obviously that's our ground. Well, sorry, that's not the ground floor. There's actually a floor below. Look at the roof. Well, there is none. Oh, I just don't understand how an explosion could be that big to literally take the entire roof off this place. Like, you know, if it was just the kitchen, I'd understand it being one segment, but it's the entire building. But yeah, sadly, as I said, guys, it's, it's just never going to be salvaged. It's going to be a demolishment job, you can already tell. Um, but in that corner is where the other lodges were, but the, the gates are pretty pretty hefty so i don't know if i really should no i'm not going to climb on that that's a rooftop so i think by the looks of it the ones on the right were maybe four animals but the ones at the back they look a little bit too nice i'm kind of thinking someone might have lived in them i don't know unless it's like a barn conversion because i was going to jump over this bit of wall but it's onto the roof and i don't really know if i trust it it just looks like some sheds to be honest is the, is the gate open no, it's oh, okay. Right, that being said, guys, I think that was basically a whole explore. Um, yeah, it was quite a nice little thing, you know, kind of cute to walk around. Shame what happened, but yeah, I think that's basically this place complete. Alrighty, guys, and that was the Windmill Inn Pub. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. All links down below, so please go and check them out. And if you haven't already, tickle that notification bell. But, Casey Cult, before I finish this video, I've got to say something really important. This family not only lost their business, but they lost their home. They lost everything due to this fire and they do have a GoFundMe page. Casey Cole, if you would really like to, and it mean a lot to me, even a penny, a pound, 10 pounds, just to donate towards a GoFundMe to get this family back on their feet, I'd really, really appreciate it. Because imagine losing everything, absolutely everything you've ever had, just gone in one night. And that's what these people endured. With that being said, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye.